and a warm welcome to the program. I'm Melinda Kinlami on this week's episode of Art House. An exhibition by three distinguished artists in Lagos. In another part of the city, we see the ones to watch in the future. But first, let's hear from our wordsmith for this week, and the program will be right back. Stay with us. Our wordsmith for this week is titled Enlightening by Roland Ophir, and the artwork is done by Wilcox Berlate. Abadi, I am me, the vision my forefathers saw, the dream of my ancestors, the stanzas of today's song, and the dying kingdom come of the generations to come. Even when my head is bloody, I strut like I have a million oil wells because I walk with the unseen legs and talk with the God of truth. I am unbeatable like his word. I am me, a line in the liberation song, a golden ray of the rising sun, the water current of a body. Just as I am without no plea, I am no stranger to the rivers, the mangrove and creeks. The truth I seek is within me. Naked I come, naked I go. As above, so below. It's a series which always takes place at the My Dream Gallery in Lagos. The title remains the same. Generations 5, The Future Masters. The My Dream Gallery in Lagos is buzzing with a new kind of excitement, all thanks to the young blood bringing some novel energy to the exhibition space through their diverse techniques in Generations 5, The Future Masters. This backstrokes is done with mosaic ties and um, acrylic glass played together to create or to pass a message documenting the present day ladies. Initially, I, we observe we have this way of identifying our, our getting our identity um, notified by your tribal marks or by other means of the identification. But presently, we now have a different form of getting your own identi identity which does not conform with your tradition. My works have been about environment, my immediate environment, what I see in my daily activities, you know, engaging with people, the activities of people around me, the marketplace especially. Uh, at one point or the other, everybody gets out there to do one or two interactions, to do one or two transactions. So these are some of the things that my work has been about, have been about humanity. Artists show sculptural pieces as well as paintings that have caught the eyes of the audience attending this show. The ingenuity is outstanding as these young hands pay attention to detail while capturing issues dear to their hearts.
my one of my works here, titled in Yoba. So I drew inspiration from the, the Benin culture. Um, I, the, the, the way they, they display their culture. And uh, again, the role of the Queen Mother in the life of the king, from how they nurtured the king from, from childhood to adulthood. And that's one of the things that inspired this work. Uh, one of the accessories of the queen, of the queen in, in Benin culture, and you can see it's different from normal crown that any any Benin bride or any Benin woman wears. So we have the, this chain which represents the the hierarchy. It's one of the hierarchies, one of the accessories that determines the hierarchy of a Benin queen. My works are mainly in coin, Nigerian coin. I tend to recreate the value for our coin since it's no longer in circulation. So I use my coin to create beautiful pieces. This is sound of peace. Because at the end of the tunnel, there's, there's always a turning point where you get to, where you get to have time to think about, to reflect about what you've gone through. And then sometimes we just need cool music to just calm our nerves give us time to think and function once again. In creating the metals, the sculptors infuse all sorts of elements to churn out some wonderful pieces which emphasize the beauty of culture, mental health, and the ever-changing world. The piece behind the title is Entangled. This work in particular is talking about the new, the, the generation of youths we have now, how we're so entangled with our phones. It's, it's not like we just do it for the social part. So many things are happening over the phone. Protests are arranged over the phone. Elections are won via the phone. So many things happening. You can connect the whole world via that phone. So it is not just about us entertaining ourselves. It is about us making a movement from that. a royal guard where insecurity has been breached to the country. The royal guard, we find it in another part of the country where there's a lot of challenges that's leading to every part of the states of this country. And the royal guard has to do with everybody's security, which we have to be alert to see people around us, alert of everything that's happening, because we don't know what next event will happen or negative event will happen. That's why it doesn't give us the ability to see ourselves as number one priority in the society. This is um, eagle head. This is a golden bad eagle. But one of the ideas is to solve the problem of waste in our community. You know, trying to get those materials together, turning them from from um, lifeless object to life to life object. So that's one of the ideas. And one of the idea, one of the ideas that I have in my work is the study of animal taking critical study of their anatomy to give a good rendering.
In the 48 works of art being showcased, the sculptural pieces appear to have stolen the show in this fifth edition of Generations. The Future Masters, organized by My Dream Gallery, a pointer for the art community to anticipate more from these young ones. It's good to see the ones to watch in the future. And some of them are online because not everyone can have a platform like that to exhibit. We'll show you their works of art, then At House returns with more. Join us again. And these are the works of art you sent in this week. <music> done by a 17-year-old, he calls himself Lamdi, with this poster color on cardboard paperwork. He says, in my heart I see beauty and in my ears I see melody. Then Ademola Ajayi has rural splendor rendered with mixed media. Visibility is a digital art done by Jeffrey Daniels. Then In My Comfort from the Women and Flower series is an acrylic on canvas piece done by Desmond Akindoju. This pen on paperwork is called My Light, still from an ongoing series. Mark Duke says, the good days are coming. Then color does not tell what's inside. The greatest person is the one who shows love. That's according to James Prince and he titles this work Love, a blue biro and charcoal on paper piece. Then Paul John has this NML on board work, which he calls silence. Blissing Spurucci has this work called Civilization, done with oil on canvas. Then we wrap things up with this work done by Achi Abia Godwin. It's a graving oil painting on canvas called Strength of a Woman. That concludes the works of art you sent in this week. We appreciate you for always sending them in and encourage you to put your best foot forward, always. Arts and culture has been infused. It has already been, except you're not aware, then you have a job to do uh, because it has been infused. If you look at every song, that is being sung by our local artists, even the international artists, you will hear Yoruba language in it. You will hear Yoruba language in it. And even if you don't, that product may not even sell. So you see the likes of Davido, uh, Whiskey, you know, Two Face, uh, Nice, every one of them is singing now in the local dialect.
hold the view that if you cannot draw what is placed before you, you cannot draw what you imagine, no matter how fertile your imagination is. Embodiment is an exhibition by three artists who can hold their own as individuals. Now they join forces to showcase their recent body of works in Lagos. Three contemporary artists, Shinzo Jobo, Abraham Uyobisere, and Owemi Heyman, have come together to display their recent paintings, mixed media, wood panel, and drawing works of art in this show titled Embodiment, held in Lagos. about embodiment of um, colors, embodiment of experience, embodiment of expression. When you look at the world, see the, the, the artists are not scared to express themselves. When you look at Mr. Ogwemi's um, paintings, he does a lot of um, ape and um, bananas, you see fruits. He, that, he shows to use um, ape to, uh, to express himself. White Chains of Jobo, you see she does a lot of um, woodworks. She experiments a lot. Then she introduced the black and white series. That's um, um, life choices, which they are up there. So embodiment is all about the colors, the styles, um, the medium, the um, expression, the way they chose to express themselves. works that done you know various themes we dealt on different themes covering you know different subjects we brought it together you know usually for exhibitions as a theme and everybody works oh uh, maybe a crying this or that but this particular one everybody created their own theme and we all came together physically so that's what we call the embodiment there are things you can physically touch the attack that they are real it's not online it's physical exhibition so that's what this one is a collection of artworks by three Nigerian artists Regardless of their difference in expressions, techniques and subject matters, the viewers enjoy the variety which is a spice of life while navigating through the intriguing images on display which explore diverse themes. Art is a reflection of what people have been thinking of and what people have been feeling about. So this is a rare chance for an, an outsider of Nigeria to see how Nigerian artists are doing about what they're thinking about and what their philosophy is. And today it's a very rare occasion because this is a female artist association, but you have two men, I mean male artists, joining together. That reflect how Nigeria, the equality of Nigeria's gender, had reflected into this particular exhibition. So I really admire how the female art association combining the male artists coming together. When a society that have male and female joining hand in hand to do artwork or to do art exhibition, that means the society move on together. No topic is off the table as the artists look at issues with their different strokes. People always ask me, you know, you work on, you use apes to depict, you know, wide views of apes, and I tell them, well, I, I'm just flipping it. We, as human, we claim to have superior thinking, and we always give these animals, you know, lesser 
attributes, say the, they don't, their thinking is not as superior as ours. But if you look at it, they are organized. It's the way nature has, you know, put them. Uh, when you now look at the flip side, we humans that are supposed to be the superior thinkers, my immediate environment, take Nigeria for example, we are blessed with enormous resources and yet we are not doing anything with it. I use the human forms, animal forms and all as visual satire which is what the public is even yet to call, uh, come to terms with, you know. Emotions are around them, uh -huh, but I use them as visual satire, as in how exposed the nude is, or how the strains of the horses to reflect her. They explain the beauty and matters in the pieces exhibited. This is acrylic on a uh, carved wood. This particular work I call the bullseye. And bullseye is in life, whatever you're looking for, you have to aim for the best. You have to work hard to get be the best. You know, a lot of people just do things, you know, like just for doing sake. You're working, you're working for working sake. You're working because you're getting money. But if you do something with passion, if you do something because you love that thing, if you do something because you want to make a difference, it's, brings a different result. So when I say bullseye, when, because when you want to shoot an arrow, you don't just oh, close your eyes and just shoot carelessly. You have to look on your eyes, you have to look, and you have to aim very well. Same as if you want to do business. You have to be sure of what you're doing. You have to be, whatever you want to do in life, you take exams, you know, do, take your life to the next level. You have to really, really aim well, look deep, do your studies well, be sure, then uh, uh, position your bow and arrow well and shoot. And like that, you have good results. So basically, it's how to be the best. These three contemporary artists embody experience, skill, and creativity. interesting collaboration there and it gets even interesting on our next episode we enjoy a performance and some more exhibitions <laughs> On the next edition of Art House, the intrigue surrounding the enthronement of Emma Sanusi, Truth and Time, a play written by Professor Ahmed Dierima, is performed at the Muzon Center in Lagos. <laughs> Then we have some artists in the spotlight at this exhibition at the Nikkei Art Gallery. We encourage you to keep liking, sharing and viewing our page so more people can enjoy the ever bubbly and ingenious art scene in the country. Your Art House experience doesn't have to end when the show is not on television. Interact with us on our various social media platforms. See any edition of Art House on our website or YouTube page. Join our very interactive Facebook page by joining the group on Art House on Channels. We're everywhere. That's the program today. We appreciate you for always being a part of it and we'll be expecting to see your comments as you interact with us on our various social media platforms. Remember, you can also view, like and share our page so more people can experience the beautiful world of the arts. I'm Melinda Akinlami. Stay creative and do stay safe.